Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Inside Arts by Art Roots. I am Luleka. We are spending the afternoon with Momo Outskits. Let's go and see what they have in store for us today.
Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Inside Arts by Art Roots. I'm Luleka. I'm here at Momo Outskirts with the artist of the moment. And we're just going to ask a, a question or two about what's happening today. All right then. So can you tell us a bit about what is happening today and the idea behind it and how it came about? Um, so what you see here is called a daydream medal. And the pieces that I've made, 21 clay vessels that are filled with live flowers meat, and which were gathered on the landscape surrounding Mono Outskirts. Um, and the colours that you see on the pieces are from the rocks on the landscape. Mm -hmm. So everything gathered here was um, well, basically formed into these vessels okay. over the space of 21 days. That was the intention. It took a little bit longer. Okay. Um, and each day I put a feeling into the piece and I honored an important woman in my life. Okay. Um, so really to remind us that we can gather a lot of joy mm -hmm. from the flowers in the world and from the landscapes. And also create a, I mean, I guess the intention for me most importantly was to create a space where we can daydream safely, yes. where we can have a moment to contemplate, where we can rest, mm -hmm. and also do that in a joyful way yes. if we want. Mm -hmm. So these pieces will slowly disintegrate over time and the elements will be playing oh. and essentially a wildflower metal will yeah. emerge here over the space of the next year. So by the time you come back next year, yeah. you will be able to sit. Oh my goodness. And a beautiful you'll definitely be back. <laughs> yes. And then the shapes was there. Is there any idea behind the shapes or that just came as you went along? Yeah, I really work from a very intuitive place mm -hmm. and a place of trust. So I every shape was just really bringing the feeling that I had on the day alive in, in a piece of cake mm. and just letting it happen. Mm. No, no, no kind of preconceived idea of what it must become. Yeah. Apart from I wanted to feel it and I guess I, I, guess I also bring my eye to it. Yeah. But most of it was really just about holding it in my hands and seeing what shape it wanted to be. Yeah, and it guided you. It guided me. That's wow. what happened, mm. really. Mm that each piece starts guiding mm -hmm. you. Oh, All right then. So you're saying we'll be back here next year, after a year, and the flowers hopefully would have bloomed. What will, What is going to happen during the course of the year as we lead up to next year? Is there anything you're planning for each month or each quarter? In my work? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is very interesting. So this <laughs> is a very, it's a starting point for me. Okay. Um, and I guess somehow my right of passage into my next phase of my creative life. Oh. And there will be a lot more work around wildflowers. Okay. That's all I can say for now. Oh, but exactly. there are collaborations that are blossoming yes. and that are coming alive from this. Mm -hmm. There might be um, you know, other pieces similar, but it's all about engaging other that I love. Oh my goodness. And a lot of this in South Africa. Oh, lovely. So much so wildflowers and then would you be working with more clay yes i think so some of it some of it some okay. of it <laughs> okay some then. of it clay okay and then i think also just allowing myself to go what how does the story of the landscape want to be told mm. and then see what medium you know is, is appropriate yeah and um, to tell that story okay. and letting that happen in the same way i just let this happen wow all right then. Thank you so much and we'll definitely be back next year and all of the best. Good luck and please invite us to whatever it is that we're doing. We'd love to document it and put it out for the whole world to see. Thank you so much. I totally enjoyed the performance by Anna Gret, hoping to follow up on the progress with her in the near future. The venue also provided the perfect backdrop for her performance. Other artist work that could be seen on the day were that of Helen CBD. Kendrick McFerlin, as well as Santu Mufikeng, just to name a few. Momo Outskirt is a space that forces you to slow down, be present and take in what nature and the surroundings have to offer. It was a wonderful afternoon of performance, art, conversation and one that cemented that autumn is here. If you happen to see an invite from them, do not hesitate to RSVP so that you just take a day out of the city and enjoy some wine, art, 
and conversations with creatives. Hi again everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video and remember to like as well. See you on the next one. Thank you.